You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. And as always, we appreciate you guys watching. And I saw this and went, what? What are you saying right now, Mike Florio? Because it seems that Mike Florio is trying to make a point. I mean, he is... Look, Florio's always been a Corona bro. He's always been somewhat woke. Generally speaking, when he sticks to the NFL, he's very good at his job. So is Chris Sims. I Generally speaking, I consume pro football talk. I mean, look, I've done stories that Mike Florio has wrote. But this one is just, I mean, absurd. It's out of bounds. Tucker Carlson is trending right now on Twitter. People are going nuts. Why? Has to do with this Buffalo shooting. I mean, Florio's demanding that the NFL puts pressure on Fox because they broadcast Fox games to put pressure on Tucker, essentially speaking. Let's get to this article because I was just I'm I'm beating my head against the uh, against the table right now. I mean, it's ridiculous. Bills issue statement of support for Buffalo community after the incident. I'm trying to clean this up for YouTube. By the way, what happened in Buffalo is one of the most heinous things I've ever heard of. It's awful. I mean, look, our thoughts and prayers go out to that community from black and white sports. It is it is totally awful. But what that guy did and what Kyle Rittenhouse did are two completely different things. They're unrelated. I've seen that trending together as well. So let's just get that out of the way. You know, we don't... We don't hold back on this channel. We're not going to. That's how this channel was built. After one of the fairly recent mass shootings that made me think, well, this will be the one to change things. Nothing changed. Nothing ever changes. Not with the toxic combination of factors that has transformed any reasonable conversation about gun control into a media rallying cry that they're coming to take our guns. Okay, so now Mike Florio, an NFL football writer, a good one, has decided to go after gun owners. Great. Okay. I mean, thanks for that. The political and commercial forces responsible for hardwiring of this mindset into average law-abiding citizens who don't realize they're being manipulated into believing that sensible restrictions today means farewell to all arms tomorrow have become far too strong to undo man if you can't see what's going on in this country right now florio i don't know what to tell you meanwhile media voices that routinely peddle the poison of replacement theory in prime time are getting louder all the time with zero repercussions he's talking about tucker the latest tragedy happened in buffalo where an 18 year old white man decided to target black citizens Quote, praying for and with our Buffalo community, the bill said on Saturday. Our hearts are with victims, their families, and friends. That is a very well thought out, I believe, an honest statement from the Buffalo Bills. I think a lot of people, look, our hearts are with the victims, their families, and friends. Oh, but let's make this bigger than that, okay? It's it's appropriate. It's an appropriate response, but the NFL and teams need to do more. So what can the NFL do? Well, one of the loudest and most prominent voices when it comes to replacement theory belongs to Tucker Carlson of Fox News. That's not a hot take. It's a cold fact. He's essentially got the number one primetime show in all of news. I know that the left and all the little gatekeepers on Twitter become literally hysterical if you use the term replacement. If you suggest for the Democratic Party is trying to replace the current electorate, the voters now casting ballots with new people, more obedient voters from the third world. Carlson said in April 2021, have you seen all the people migrating into this country right now? I'm just saying. By the way, Fox News is part of the same corporate family that does billions of dollars in business with the NFL. 
It's a broadcasting partner of the league. In other words, a partner of the league. Should the NFL start sending unambiguous messages to Fox about its relationship with Fox News and in turn Tucker Carlson? Question mark. The league has no qualms about squeezing the testicles of ESPN who canceled the TV show Playmakers after only one season. Boo-hoo. It made the NFL look bad. If anything, the TV version of Playmakers painted an inaccurate picture about pro football because it was too lame. <laughs> that That's true. Instead, the NFL actually allowed Fox to announce one of its 2022 games on the Fox News morning show last week. After we received the press, le- press release from the NFL regarding that plan, we sent the league this question last weekend. Quote, do you have any concerns about associating the NFL brand with Fox News? Question mark. To no surprise, we received no response. You know, Florio, there's about 80 million conservative Americans in this country. And we have done our literal best as the NFL has went on these social justice crusades, essentially telling white people, "Mm, we're not really sure if we want your money anymore. We've sat back and watched that for, what, 24 months now? 24 months? And you believe the NFL should... Go, the answer should be go after a actual conservative network. Wow. Okay. Hopefully others will ask that question of Fox and maybe those who work there, including perhaps a recent high-profile hire who has a very strong voice if he tr- chooses to use it. Now he's dragging Tom Brady into this shit. Really, Florio? It's a fair question to ask. If any true desire to get to the root cause of mass murders, the problem isn't just ready, available weapons of mass dis- mass murder. It's the spreading of hate and fear-based commentary that gives people the motivation to use the weapons of mass murder to murder in mass numbers. Do you know that this shooter was a massive fan of Rachel Maddow, you idiot? Have you not done your homework, Florio, beside, before you got on here and decided to spew bullshit until your fingers bled? My God, that's precisely what happened in Buffalo, and as proven by the killer's manifesto, it will keep happening, absent dr- dramatic change. Even if it will be impossible to make real strides in striking a better balance between the Second Amendment and the Sixth Commandment, real pressure can be placed upon major media outlets that give those who foment fear and hate a prominent mainstream voice. It wouldn't be the ending point, but it would be a good starting point. My God. I mean, I'm floored by this. You are literally calling for the NFL to put pressure on Fox News to get rid of Tucker Carlson? I mean, that blows my mind. It blows my mind. Like we ain't got enough liberal, progressive, radical, woke, asshole motherfuckers spewing venom on a daily basis on television that you want to get rid of the most prominent conservative voice. Who is using this tragedy to their advantage at this point, Mike Florio? It seems to be your own agenda, your own political beliefs, and you want Tucker pushed off to the side. Isn't that funny? I mean, come on. Let's be real. Okay, you just open, you just open the book and expose yourself for a progressive wet left-wing nut job. That you believe the NFL should get involved? And let's fuck it. Tom Brady should get involved. They just hired a high-profile voice that maybe can put pressure on... So, let me get this straight. Do you want no conservative fans, no Republicans to watch football anymore? How do you think that's going to work out for you? NBC Sports has already been regulated to fucking Peacock, for crying out loud. A streaming service only. And that's fine. I mean, I was consuming your product. I was consuming your product. That shit is over. I mean, conservative voices 
we're tired of people like you making these kinds of idiot broad statements and trying to pressure places like the NFL into doing really stupid things. And this would be stupid. By the way, do you think Tucker's going anywhere? Again, he's essentially got the number one rated news show on television. There's a reason for that. People are tired of Joy Reid. They're tired of Rachel Maddow. They're tired of Anderson Cooper, Don Lemon, and anybody else spewing, let me just keep it blatantly real, a bunch of effing lies. Come on. I mean, really? <laughs> okay. By the way, Fox News, as long as we're calling the kettle, pot calling the kettle black here, Florio, Fox News and Fox <laughs> is heavily involved in the ownership of the USFL. So is your network. What are you going to do now? Are you calling up NBC saying, well, it's time for us to shoot hate mail over to Fox and our partners at the USFL because Tucker Carlson's on the air. I'll be awaiting your answer, Mike Florio. Jesus Christmas. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Yeah, I saw this and was like, okay, it's been a long time. Me and Matrix used to come on here when sports went nuts. Jacob Blake, Drew Brees, you know, BLM, NBA, Bubba Wallace lying blatantly about a damn garage pull rope. We used to get on here and lose our minds over these subjects. I have not went on a true roads rants in like 12 months. Thank you for bringing that back out, Mike Florio, you fucking idiot. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.